we're keeping guys David O'Connor here from Doc Fitness and I've been meaning to shoot a quick prep video like this for a while because I'm all about getting stuff done that's realistic because now it's a late on a Sunday eve I'm only in the door from actually doing work in the gym but it's 20 to 9 right now and I want to kind of prove to people like when things like when the kids are going to bed when you're busy throughout the week that how quick things can be when you're prepping for food and then just the hours it saves you in advance during days as well so this is kind of like a quick on the fly way I would do things if I had more time I would do fancier options but very very simple stuff like fruit sources following some veg choices that have some mulch, two green beans, baby corn simple stuff that they can put into any on the go meals, tomatoes, some baby kale, spinach salad out of here, some tender some broccoli, courgettes and leeks which I love mixed in with any carb sources as well as that bulk up foods Basic lean cuts like bacon medallions, turkey burgers, which are lovely, lean steak mince, and I have some chicken pre chopped as well. So, what I'm basically going to do here is I'm going to cook the meats nicely. I'm not going to bother cooking these tonight because I'm going to cook the chicken to do it for the next three days. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put things like peri peri sauce in there, mix the different spices, get that in the oven, cook them up, and I'm going to pick whatever vegetables I'm feeding for over the next few days gonna basically just steam them and on the kind of key after that then is whatever carb sources I want I cook those in a basic format as well but once they're all done it's a simply a matter of bringing those on with me in my day adding some spices flavoring to them and you're done very very easy but sometimes people need to show the stuff and prove how easy it is to get done because I could not be arse prepping this right now I'm tired and all I want to do is sit down and watch Netflix but I have to get done because it's going to set me up for the week so first step I'm just going to get the chicken and get that into the oven so what I'm using here is some peri peri sauce you can actually pick up in Little I think it is some peri peri salt I picked up in Nando's a couple of weeks back cumin powder, cajun seasoning and some herbs and spices and good old pepper but again you can use whatever ones you pick here but it's just what I'm feeling in the mood for over the next couple of days I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar into the mix to spruce up a tiny bit and a tiny bit of olive oil so it'll cook a bit nicer when it's in that pan So usually I would go down a stock cube route, but what I'm doing here with these today is I'm going to just judge and see how it is. I'm going to be a bit of tin fight over to keep the moisture in with these. Because of olive oil put in with the mix, I will see how these cook. I'm going to go and I kind of want to go for a nice crispier style blend for this week. Uh, because the last few weeks I had no stock cubes and this is just changing things up a small bit. But again, look, I've that done in less than two or three minutes provided if you bought them chopped obviously it'd be faster. I bought these in breast, we cooked them first or chopped them first. Now it's a matter of get the tin foil on, pop that in the oven and I'm going to choose up my veg next to get cooking. Basically what I'm going to do is the ones I've picked, I'm going to choose half of each and basically steam those up. It's as simple as that, nice and fast. As I said, I'm a bit lazy today and that's the whole objective of getting this video out. So tender stem broccoli, ready. Some green beans. Again, I'm cooking for two people here, roughly for full on three days, having very little cooking to do in between. So sometimes if I'll have quicker veg options on the go, I'll have those ready. Usually I cook all the veg. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna cook half to have those done, but just watch how fast all this is. Veg steaming, very, very easy. I'm gonna store those up in lunch boxes or a bowl or a bit of tin foil if you don't have those things. Chicken is cooking. Now next would be what carb sources am I gonna have for the week? I'm a big porridge fan, so usually if I'm on the go, if I'm at like work for example, I can actually do those with a kettle, believe it or not. If you have a lunch box and if the oats in the lunch box, you simply pour the kettle in and let it, let it soak them up, get it a bit mixed and then pour more water in and let it mix as you go on. If you were like milk, you can add a bit on top of that because the hot water will heat it up as well, it works fine. But whatever carb sources you have, now is the time to get those cooked as well and put them in separate containers. Because usually what I do is put them in separate. When I wake up the start of each day, I can pop them into the lunch boxes or go from there. But while that chicken is cooking, I'm gonna put in 
some tomato, some peppers, and some onions as well. When they when the chicken is nearly done, so the juices flow on those and has some more nice veg options. But as I said, if you take basic spices, for example, when the meal is done, pop these on. I pop things on like a balsamic and an apple cider vinegar mix into the case. Frank's zero hot sauce, that kind of stuff for taste options. But because the chicken is cooked in nice flavors anyway, it makes the meal then actually enjoyable when you're doing it hot or cold. Keeping carb source is simple for the next coming days. I'm gonna go with rice, basmati rice. I'm a big lover of bas basmati rice and absolute rice. And this one that I picked up in Tesco recently as well. Don't even ask me how to pronounce it, but it's basically rice noodles. It's very, very thin rice noodles. This takes 10 minutes to cook, so I'm gonna get these cooking and prep up enough for at least two days anyway. And then I'm gonna pop these into the oven with the chicken as well while the rice is cooking. tip if you want to make your rice a bit healthier and if you ever see me cooking the yellow rice this is where it comes from turmeric so while that's finishing off let's just talk about where the food is going to go after it's done so you're going to have the chicken with the bit of veg now extra you're going to have the veg and you're going to have the carb sources i like to store them separately because if i'm changing quantities and stuff like that as well i can do that on the fly because i, just, I roughly can judge off my hand sizes and stuff like that so the, these are the best ones I've come across so far. They are, I got them off Amazon. If you just type in meal prep containers, you'll get them. But here, they hold plenty. Easy to wash and very, very easy to keep and manage in a bag. You like can just pop into whatever bags you use or whatever cooler bags. If you don't have those, basic lunch boxes work just fine. I like to use these more for storage in the fridge and then I can transfer them to these in the morning or the night before as well. Like tonight, after this video, I will prep Two of these will save for tomorrow, three, whatever it's going to be, depending on how much I weigh for the day. And I will put the rest then into containers here. As I said, I'm cooking for two at the moment. If you're cooking for family, obviously you're just going to have more quantities of food. But again, if you don't have those things, simple bowl, put tin foil over the top of it, put it in Ziploc bags. If you know you're going to be gone away for a few days, you can freeze some of that food. So don't be limited by your imagination. You don't have to have the most perfect things from day one. But that's just a quick tip on where things go after the pattern is done. So, so when all that stuff is cooking, I'm actually going popping on food for now as well. So I have turkey burgers in the mix. We're going to fry up some onions with that. We're going to use some of the veg from the oven with the chicken. And we'll just check how that's getting on now as well. So cooking exactly how I wanted those. They're all looking nice. We're going to use a bit of that. I'm going to rob a small drop of rice, more spices, add some low fat cheese, and a nice dinner on top of that as well. But again, if you look at my other carb source now for across this week, I wanted to mix up a bit like so sweet potato, spuds, thin slices are very, very handy when on the go as well. So hopefully, that meal prep video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions in relation to prepping or anything like that, shoot them over for me. But this is kind of one to get out there to show you how easy it actually is done. I think all in all, I was about 40 minutes doing that. I'm gonna eat my own food now as well and chill out for the rest of Sunday evening. But there's just a lot of videos out there that I don't like, like this unrealistic prepping of food where all these fancy ingredients and stuff like that. I was going to do this video a week ago and I had everything prepped out and I said, no, actually what I'll do is I'll leave it. I probably did the following because I knew I was going to be busy this weekend and then whatever I had there and then after that food shop I did that day we'll just do it with that. I actually forgot to get more carb sources and I forgot to get a few of the bits that I wanted to get. Things like apple cider vinegar that I'm going to get during the week. But again, this just it, it proves the point of kind of what I'm doing is if you are home late it's a matter of how you look at things. You can use that hour to sit down and watch telly. Yeah, you can of course. I'm going to do it now. But if you're using that hour and pawing off this, you're only bullshitting yourself is the fact that you cannot prep. Even if you're someone who's out on the road or busy as well, like this is what sets you up for the day to win. There is no guesswork with food, you know exactly what you're taking in, and you can stay in track with your health and fitness goals as well, because that's, that, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Plus, you save hours in the day with prepping this stuff, and you save money from not buying stupid stuff over the deli and things like that as well. So hopefully it was helpful, if you have any friends that could Benefit from watching this video, tag them below and we'll chat to you soon.